Nation. Paul Hinks explaining the situation. Got to be won by two clear legs. If it reaches five all, we have one sudden death leg of darts. That's happened once already in this World Championship. Remember Robert Thornton beating Paul Nicholson in a sudden death shootout. Whitlock was two up in this deciding set. 44. Yeah, what a big dart. I mean, the, the dart for double 19, middle of the double three nearly, which is a long way off for Chisnell. But it took bottle. Big crowd, live TV. One dart left in your hand to stay in the World Championships. And Chisnell pins it. The boy's got plenty of bottle, that's for sure. But it does worry me, this snatch that, that's been very prominent in, in this match. You know, although he's still in the match, it is something he's going to have to just get a bit more rhythm, because when the rhythm's there, he hits far more treble 20s. 100. A lovely switch this time from Chisnell. Wonderful drama. The way it's playing out. Who will take centre stage? Who will take the bow? Who will take the final curtain? Oh, it's up in the air at the moment. But Whitlock certainly got the advantage in his first leg. But he needs a treble. Oh, now that could be the opening that Dave Chisnell wants. He knows that Whitlock may only get a dart at the bullseye. He's got to stay on the treble 20, surely. He does. Double 13. Oh, and he's had to check himself to make sure it's in. Last time he did this, they just ask him what he's left. I can't believe it. He just says to himself, come on, he's got to settle himself down. Big, deep breath. Go up there, double 13. What a massive dart for Dave Chisnell. One dart at the bull. 63. Now then, Dave Chisnell. Dave Chisnell to go ahead for the first time in the match. Don't miss the big five. No, that's the hardest bit done, to be quite honest. And he checks himself again. And it's double four such an important leg this time he hits it Dave Chisnell goes in the lead for the first time in this match and now the pressure on the Australian Simon Whitlock he now knows perhaps a 12 dart leg or he's out of the competition well goodness knows how they're holding it together my hand shaking holding the microphone such is the tension here but then that's What's happened there, Chisnell, affected by nerves at the start of this leg. You cannot blame them, you can't. So much at stake. Chisnell kicked off with a pretty poor score. But he should have at least a ton in this leg. Now the 140's opened up. And that's exactly what he's done. The first dart, perfect. What a great score from Chisnell. Asking the question of Simon Whitlock. And Simon Whitlock's got to match it. 100. Oh, needed another treble. Oh. Marvellous, marvellous sporting entertainment. 95. Whitlock. We'll look at treble 20. 92. Oh, I wonder. I wonder, Chisnell will be saying six darts from here, and I'm in the quarter-finals of the World Championship. You're right. Oh, and what a bad dart that is, Stu. I mean, Whitlock would have been standing over his shoulder thinking, please have a bad Thank score, you. and that's exactly what he's done. Opened up the door for Whitlock, but they've both been missing doubles at crucial times, so... 
This can go any way. Well, we see Colin Lloyd win the world match play with a 170 finish. Can Dave Chisnell go through to the quarterfinals with a 170 finish? Fabulous. The tension is palpable. Oh, that was unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, for Whitlock here. Another one of those. Oh, surely not. Oh, wonderful, wonderful dance. Simon Whitlock produced a moment of absolute magic when he was on the verge of defeat. Acknowledged by his opponent as well. Chisnell was sat on 90 to win the match. Incredible. 1 5 2. Oh, incredible. Well, you're right, Stu. That is up there with the best we've ever seen to stay in the World Championships. The big Australian takes out the 1 5 2. His fifth ton plus. Check out then throws a bad score Stu, you know, lost the momentum straight away. Now Chisnell must have thought, 62. I don't know, 29 times out of 30, I'm going to get a dart at the ball to go through to the quarter-finals. That was just sensational. Oh, and so is that! This game has certainly woken up. 13 maximums between them, nine for Chisel, four for Whitlock. As he comes back, he can see, he said to himself, I'm, I keep snatching it, what? and I've got to keep that fluency there. And that 1-5-2 has hurt him. 90, 90 for the match. Well, in, 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 in that situation, in this atmosphere, 41. In a world championship, with that pressure, that 1-5-2, have to say, lucky enough to do this for 10 years, but that's one of the best finishes I've seen. Well, it doesn't come any better when you're on the third, you're going out in the world championships, because Chisnell would have had at least one dart at the bullseye. Now, Chisnell's on the back foot. Whitlock, going to get two darts to take the lead and he's going to have plenty of darts at it so no pressure on this 14. well Dave Chisdall had won three consecutive legs after looking down and out 125 so only require 32 well, three darts missed at double 16 Unlucky. Yeah, no, no mistake this time. Advantage the Australian. His girlfriend Steffi is animated as Whitlock himself. Pressure back on Dave Chisnell. What's he got left in the Tuxton tank? Well, it's gone backwards and forwards this last set. He'll be more than happy with that last dart, but this is where Whitlock will think 280 with these first six darts, and I'm going to get down to the double first. And that's the first three accomplished. Well, that 152 looks like it's a match winner. It looks like it is a match winner. Whitlock here has stolen the darts. In a deciding set tie break. 91. Well, Chisnell needs a maximum, Stu. It's only that that's going to get him right back into this game. Ton, that's not enough. So, advantage, Simon Whitlock. He is going to be down to the double first as long as he hits one treble with every three darts. Is he now going to miss? Incredible! Well, isn't this just brilliant to watch? 
as you say, one treble. That'll do, that will do, thank you, said Simon Whitlock. Chisnell now, again, the snatch has pulled it into, but he needs another one of those trebles. That weren't enough, you feel, so Whitlock going to get two darts of that treble, 20. If the first one misses, he wants to sit just above it, straight in, 16. This is for the match. Well, one match dart has gone. It was a nervy match dart. Will he be back? He will. He will return to throw for a place in the quarterfinals of the World Championship. Simon Whitlock wins a thriller against Dave Chisnall in the tiebreak. A fantastic 1-5-2 finish to stay in the tournament. And Whitlock, in the most dramatic of finales, gets the job done. What a performance, what a game.